Hello and welcome to Hello by Felicia. I am making some cards today and I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and film some and show you what I've made to give you some ideas. So I liked these two. Um, I'm really into the texture and I have some iridescent um, paper that I, I hadn't been able to use. So I will show you how I did that and show you a few more. I like this embossing folder. I mean, I think it uh, adds a lot to the card. So if you have anything like I do, you have like tons of little boxes filled with old projects and whatever. So I just went through and I mean, I have um, hearts and I, I even have a little, um, I mean, all kinds of stuff. So I pulled out uh, circles. So I'm gonna use these for the card and I probably will use the embossing folder with texture. So I just, the circles, I know they're all really like different uh, colors, but I think it will be fun. So, and you can see this pile of uh, dies, die cuts. So, Anyway, so we will use some of those, and it, if you have some stuff, go grab it. Uh, if you have, like, old flowers, different um, shapes, grab, grab them, and grab an embossing folder. I don't know if you have paper that you um, have a hard time using, or you just haven't used it in a while. Uh, this, I just hadn't used it. I got it at Michael's. And um, it feels like, I think it's about 60 uh, pounds and it's just craft on the back. And then I grabbed some folders. I love this one. Um, I think I got it Tuesday morning and it's going out of business. So this, I, I just love it. So anything that has like a pattern um, that will give good texture, it will, it'll be great. Um, this, I... Uh, use uh, Nouveau drops and sometimes some glitter on this uh, after I use the em embossing folder. I went ahead and just grabbed a stencil, you know, to flower. If I have any um, space on the card, maybe I'll just quickly use a stencil. And last but not least, I have uh, this rose um, uh, embossing folder. So, what I'm gonna do is I will cut this in half and then cut it this way and then use those to emboss and we will get started. Um, I don't know if you have A2 cut cards already cut. I do. Um, this is what I, I have. It's uh, five and a half inches by four and three quarters. And so I will grab a couple of these, grab a pink, and a blue and a green and like, um, like a peach and we'll reconvene. So grab your stuff and let's, let's get moving. I have an evolution, um, uh, die cutting and embossing, uh, machine. And I'll show you that in just one moment. I went ahead and pulled together some of those circles I haven't used a lot of these mustaches. This was from uh, a big um, piece of paper and I really thought they were adorable, but I just, I was never able to use them. So anyway, uh, I will be able to use these on uh, perhaps like a, a more, um, a less um, girly girl type of card, but maybe a girly girl would like mustaches. So anyway, so, I went ahead and pulled out some more. I, I cut the uh, cards and I always have like the face plates, the things in the, the things that go on top of the cards. So that here's the base and then that's the card front. So anyway, I chose this color instead of the um, cream or the white. So we'll see how this works out. 
here is my evolution. Um, and I'll show you what I have for that. My original uh, plate broke. So I have this, which was original, and I just bought this on Amazon. Plastic. And it actually cuts better. So I added these into the folders, whatever folders you have. You could use your um, iridescent paper or, um, you know, pa paper that you watercolored, um, any kind of paper. Uh, let's see, here's roses. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that iridescent through and it's gonna have roses. Um, I'm gonna put the tan through and I will put one of those through in the in the uh, iridescent as well. So I won't show all of these because you know you'll just be watching me die cut. Oh, and I and I'm gonna go ahead and probably emboss directly to one card. So I'll show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead make sure this is all. Let's see, this should be on folders. Grab this. I don't know. This one just really uh, strikes me. Oh. My mom and my aunt Mona, I think, both have these machines. that comes through. I'm not going to show every one of these on um, film, but isn't that cool? And either side is really neat. So you could even rub some like Tim Holtz Distress Ink or, uh, you know, any ink would, would work. If you wanted to add a little bit more Distress Ink, you could do around the corners, uh, you know, rub the edges. I, th there's a lot of possibilities with this. So I, I just really love this texture. And let's try one more. I'm going to show you the roses, what they look like um, through here. I haven't tried this yet, so this would be a surprise to me as well. And that is your iridescent image. And it just really, I don't know. It just, there's a lot going on here with so little that we actually had to do. Just had to cut this into four pieces and choose an embossing folder, really. So, all right. So go through yours, do yours, and I will show you what mine look like in just a minute. If you, if you want to emboss and just make a one layer card, just add it like this and just be sure you don't send it all the way through. I have it, I just have it hang off like this. That way it doesn't press in a bunch of like designs and stuff from when I cut or whatever. Ooh, shot through. I'm glad I had a hold of that with my hand. So that's what this looks like. Matches my fingernails. All right. Anyway, so I'm going to put this away. And this is what I did the um, die cuts on as well. So if you uh, have a machine, it does both, both uh, die cutting and embossing. So I recommend this. I like it. It has a hand crank and it has, um, you can plug it in as well. So I'll probably go back and, um, do a lot more of these, but here's what I have so far. And this is probably what I'll be choosing from. Here's that card. If we wanted to just make a one layer.
And these are the iridescents again. So I used three out of the four pieces and you can see it really, I mean, the light captures it well and it, it shows well on camera. So uh, I'm pleased with this. And I went ahead and grabbed uh, some glitter, glitter here. Um, I don't know if I'll be using this, but I grabbed a couple of like little embellishments for that the circle card if it's too boring. And I even used that embossing folder on these, which I thought that added a fun texture. So I'm pretty excited about those. So let's set some cards up. So uh, I took the, I used the green piece for the card, but I'm just kind of showing you what you can do and glue this on. I use the glitter glue. Um, I love it. It's my favorite glue. It saves me a bundle. I don't have to use the tape anymore. Uh, you know, glue it on and then you can cut it off the sides and any, any bits that are hanging over with a, a guillotine cutter or scissors. And this is what mine looks like. So it's, it's fun. Um, it could be masculine or feminine or any spectrum of gender card. I, it's, it's fun. So if you wanted to keep going, you could add some like glue, glitter glue, and then add on some um, glitter. But there's a lot going on here. I like the texture. Um, it's fun. So I'm going to stop with that one. You can kind of see what you can do with this add some um, glue and some glitter onto this, and then glue this onto a base, and you've got a card, a really simple card. Uh, I mean, you could almost send this, so I'm pretty excited about that. So, uh, same way with the roses, pretty. So anyway, this is what I'm going to finish out the video with. Um, I'm putting together a one layer card and I'm using some of the embellishments. So I'm just kind of gluing some of those on, you know, all these, all these things, you know, I have tons of those. So I'm going to try to glue them onto the card. So we'll, I'll show you that when I uh, turn the camera back on. And then I'm also making a two layer card and then um, adding these on. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I may add a heart or something like that to it, but I'll show you my finished card. Well, here are the cards. I glued them on, added some Nouveau drops Add a little bit of glitter. And that's what it's like. So I could add, uh, you know, an, an embellishment. Um, I could add uh, words. And here's the other one. So these are my three cards for today. I hope you enjoyed watching.